In the Fox 7 Care Force, not long ago, the president highlighted that the PACT Act had recently approved its one millionth claim for special veterans' benefits. Now, the PACT Act was signed in August 2022 to provide $280 billion to cover service related ailments that had been denied before, things like exposure to burn pit smoke. Joining us is Army veteran Mitch Fuller, who is with the VFW. Mitch served in Operation Iraqi Freedom and is one of those million PACT Act claims. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Mike, it's a pleasure to be with you again, as always. Tell us about your claim with the PACT Act. Well, in my, in my advocacy work for the VFW, I'm on the National Legislative Committee uh, for the Nas VFW National uh, Organization and our legislative director here in, in Texas. And in advocating for that and, and coming to understand what that meant, I finally filed my own VA claim last May, nearly a, nearly a year ago, and, and what, it was the realization. What was your condition that the VA had not been covering that is now being covered under the PACT? Well, there's a couple of things, some gastrointestinal stuff in, in my case, rhin, uh, rhinitis, sinusitis, um, uh, some, sleep, some sleep problems uh, as well. So there's 24 presumed conditions that are in the PACT Act for my generation of warriors. The Persian, what they call the Gulf War era veterans, the Persian Gulf War, early 90s, Iraq and Afghanistan post 9 11, uh, and those other theaters after 9 11. So I finally looked in the mirror and said, I need to take care of myself. So I am one of the 1 million that have been approved. It's a 75% approval rate. Texas, by the way, leads the way uh, with 110,000 when you compare it by state. So um, I'm one of those 110,000 and one of those 1 million. And I'm very grateful for that. And my only regret is I should have filed my VA claim a lot sooner because the VA healthcare system is something that we earned, uh, those of us that have served. Of course. How difficult was it to file this claim and get this done so uh, you can go and see a doctor? Sure. I used I used a, a the Williamson County Veteran Service Officer. We are blessed in Texas. There's so many free, free ways to do it. I would ask any veteran out there, don't pay anybody to do it. You've got the Texas Veterans Commission. You've got County Veteran Service Officers. The VFW has VA accredited service officers, the disabled American veterans. So there is so many ways to get it done for free. I filed my claim in May of 2023. I got a rating in December. And once we crossed into the calendar year of 2024, I, I have been going to my various appointments here at, a, at an incredible VA clinic here in Austin. So I, was, how, how many veterans can take advantage of this? The, the PACT Act applies. What it did, it expanded, it added uh, hypertension to Vietnam War veterans, by the way. So this piece of legislation was the largest piece of VA healthcare legislation in history. And it, it's 30 years or so after the Agent Orange legislation in the early 90s for our Vietnam, our Vietnam War veterans. So if you served in, in Vietnam, if you served in the Gulf War, the Persian Gulf War in the early 90s, if you were exposed to radiation uh, anywhere, uh, there, there are millions of veterans that are, are, are affected by this. And I would ask any veteran out there, file your VA claim, whether you think you need to or not, because you do. And I'm, I, I can look myself in the mirror and go, I should have done it years ago. And I'm glad that I did because it's about take, the VA taking care of us. Right. And it's also about our families, because if you get a VA disability claim, there's survivor benefits as well. Yeah, the help and the coverage is there. Yes. It's just now incumbent upon the veterans to take advantage and go out yes, and, and file the claim. Okay, we're out of time for now. I wish we had more. But Mitch Fuller, Army veteran, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you very much, Mike.